Okay, what's going on? Today is Monday, June the 24th, 2024. And what we're going to be looking at is going to be dollar index in the futures market. Now, we've already <clears throat> kind of broke down the ideas for the day. So we're going to be kind of on the fly here today, uh, watching the price. But um, I do already have some areas mapped out. So um, really quickly, <clears throat> just a quick as, as I can, top-down analysis here in the next two minutes. We are seeing a lot of weakness in dollar going into New York. So with weakness, we could see um, this market buy up some more. And then a lot of the, a lot of the speculators and stuff online are saying um, they don't want to see this price go higher. So um, I'm interested to see what can happen. We've got about a minute and 30 seconds. And so let me go ahead and get this all together here. And then um, we are good on that. Okay. And uh, we got a, <clears throat> excuse me, we got about a minute, uh, a minute until. So make sure you went through your trader's constitution, you set up your mental framework, and uh, let's have a phenomenal session. So I want to see what that 19, 9, 17 looks like right off that open. But price could basically do this and come back down below New York, and I'd take that as well, um, the 22 area. So that bounce off that five, excuse me, that bounce off that five minute was really nice. And so if it comes back down, I would think there may be a chance to play that New York area. So about 10 points above <clears throat> the New York Open. You are seeing a little bit of strength on um you are seeing a little bit of strength there on Dow and, and uh US, excuse me. So that's the level that I want. <clears throat> oh my gosh, how big it goes. I clicked it. Um, um wow. <laughs> they filled that pretty late. That's pretty terrible. So what I'm gonna do just because just in case um I don't want it to be um, that high of risk. What I'm going to do is break it into two pieces. So trade, I'm going to do a sell stop. Yeah, yeah showing 15 minutes strength, so that looks good. Um, and so now we have a risk there and there just to be safe. 
Okay. And so one thing I can already say from my notes is the play we really wanted was off this fifth or excuse me, off this five minute uh demand zone. <clears throat> so this still works out pretty good, but we'll see what happens here. And then we're targeting the high of day. Um and Asian liquidity, so Okay, so that first move was up and we had a lot of um you know a lot of upset off that five minute, like I said, demand zone area. So if we can get up into I would think uh like this area here, the double top from London, New York, or excuse me, London Asian session, then there's a really good chance that we'll continue to run higher, I think. Um with that being said, you know, the four hour looks really <clears throat> interesting across the board on all of them and that's why i ended up taking that trade because i'm looking at this down candle how new york is forming um we already made higher highs on uh ym and so for me what it comes down to is going to be um how this one hour really looks right this one hour looks amazing to go back up to 2100 key levels so that's where my eyes are right now um and uh we're, we're pushing off pretty crazy so um, pretty crazy to think about. Um, you know, I'm usually done eleven fifteen, and this price is doing exactly what I wanted to see. Uh, pretty early. That was to eleven. We're getting that price already out of the area. So, um, you know, now when price rallies like this super fast, a lot of the time, sometimes it'll come back. Um, so you can kind of trail your risk with this first order and then add in if you like as well. So right now I'm okay. I like the I like how I have the risk placement. Um, so we'll just continue to watch here and see if it pulls back a little bit. And so I want to reduce my risk down here. Um, I like where it's at right now. If we can get this five minutes across this nineteen nine eighty level, that would be a little bit more promising. But just to just to reduce <clears throat> risk here on a Monday. What I'm gonna do is just kind of put it right here. In alignment with that New York open. Because if the price goes back below that, then um, you know, I wouldn't want to be a part of it. Um, I'd rather add in that situation then. Now, if they would have gave my order, you know, location-wise, that's a lot of difference, um, a 10-point difference. So I'll continue to watch the rest of this. <clears throat> so uh, we had that first five-minute close. And now we're okay. I mean, I just feel like this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a pullback, but that's why I reduced the risk just in case. And so we're still looking pretty good. First five minute close was bullish. Um, it looks like we could go to 20,000 key level, but. They're not really breaking any higher uh, since that five minute close. So we're just going to be patient here. So this looks like mitigation, you know, price reaching back down to New York like this. So if they do come back and take half the order, that's fine. Um, now, if they come all the way back down, that would be a little bit dramatic, but um, they could definitely do that. So I like to usually keep my risk under this low, but because of how they filled my order, 
um, above New York Open. I, I want to protect myself for sure. So if this taps and then decides to go and starts to build up afterwards, I probably would play it. <clears throat> okay, so want to see this five minute close and then really want to see the next. Now you are seeing pretty good signs of strength and uh, location formation on ES as well. And then YM still kind of doing her own thing. So Okay, so we're watching that price and, and this level here, I would say this is like our demand level here. That down candle there. So let's kind of look at that until like nine. <clears throat> nine, nine, fifteen, right? But at this five minute can close back above my entry that they gave me, right? Um, then we could see price continue up, I think, into this area here today. Uh, but they may go down first before they go up. So, but I, I can kind of see them, you know, making their way to this area at some point today. Okay, so they took half that position. It seems like they're just tapping this uh, New York Open. So I am going to be watching this a little closer here. Yeah. Um, ES still showing strength. <clears throat> so. And so this is why I wanted to have my initial risk here, but I'll I'll take this right here for a Monday and see how this plays. See how it plays out. So they still gave me a pretty high order. So now where's that limit? Okay, so eight thirty five, eight four. The price is failing to push higher and starting to kind of break down here. So we'll have to really watch this 15 minute, five minute close. So ES still is looking pretty strong and printing above this New York Open, and they're either searching for orders here or they're just absorbing into this area. But, um, you know, I'm glad I reduced the risk down because, like I said, the order not being under New York Open makes it a little bit more difficult. And so ES isn't really showing that strength right now that we were seeing. So we'll see if these are just absorption areas or not. Uh, let's see if I could, if I was to add in what it would look like here. It's kind of looking here and see how this reaction is going to be. If it doesn't react, obviously here, there's nothing to do, but. I just want to have this kind of set up 18895. I like that five minute location, the 15 minute location. Um, 
I just really want to see how these candles form before I add on any volume. So that doesn't look like an add-on type position. That looks like more like they're getting ready to crush the lows. So let that go ahead and go and do its thing. That's already breaking lower. So I only have room for one trade because like I said, they're not really, I think they're just rushing things out here. So we'll see. About that five minute making that new higher, that 15 minute, you know, breaking past 19960, um, kind of makes it to where that half level was really responded well off of. Let's see if there's just a liquidity grab in the rows there. Now you're seeing ES start to fail that New York open and start to break down that 15 five minute range. So um, equal lows at like 55, 20. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at that four hour. <clears throat> so we are coming into that four hour area, like 19850s. And then a really quick dollar index. Um, it has showed weakness from overnight. Um, but right now it's just kind of holding that 105.50 level. And then dailies on, you know, futures are pretty bearish when it comes to NQ and ES, so. so really be locked in here after that dump. So, not really seeing anything yet. We want to see a little bit more signs on that five minute, but. I like this being at this whole level here, but it's just not showing you signs above the whole level right now. Yeah, not yet. <clears throat> Watching the four hours here. Like I said, I had a target a few weeks ago of like uh, 19760s. So we'll see how that plays out. Okay. So ran up a little bit, but below New York Open after the liquidity grab, um, we'll see. Uh, they can take this to the upside. <clears throat> 20. So we'll see how this responds here in New York. But based off how the four hour looks and the one hour, I feel like we're in a good spot being at 19,000. So. And so if we break this area here, this five minute, this 19,965, 970 area, like this one minute area here, <clears throat> I'll break this trade into two pieces again as well. You are seeing the signs you want to see on ES um, from a four hour, one hour perspective down to 15, and they're getting that really nice pump out of the area. So um, kind of what I'm seeing over there just really quick is you know we drain people here to the 99 level and then um we're still holding like that new york open area here on the us so so we'd like to see it continue up from here um and five minute close um above new york open because if not then it's going to fail that area and just sink lower again
the ES looks really nice and strong. Um, so we may get it or they may um, surf lower one more time. Okay. So no signs of strength right now. So prices is just breaking lower even more. I mean, never showed any weakness here uh, or any strength, excuse me. So, I mean, that one hour just toppling over. So they may really want to go all the way down to that seven or 19,750 level, which is insane. But... And so, like, right now, this is really playing out. Um, kind of annoying because dollar is so bearish at that market open. So, like, they're just going to keep draining down until either the four-hour area or close to 19.8. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark. Um, we're already close to 50, well. 19, right? So we're getting very close already to 19850, which is, you know, the level that we anticipated for it to possibly work out. Um, Okay, so still watching the same area, anticipating it's in the right area on the four hour. Um, I'd like to see some signs here. Uh, come on, dude. Don't want it to be right there. Where's that risk going to pop up? Okay, the risk need the risk to pop up. GP is not showing up. So I like this area the most. The five minutes responding really well. Um, that one minute was the right demand zone area, which ended up making the five minute the great area, I think, as well. So price was really exploding from that area. Really, really good price on ES at the same time. Um from the area of the 15. So, and then Dow just taking off. So, uh, four hours are holding still pretty well. The one hours look really, um, the one hour looks really good on ES for the MIDI. And then this looks like a drain of liquidity to then rally. So, we'll continue to watch this here.
really good price on the U.S., really exploding up right now. And then YM is just taking off, um, which is expected. Like, we wanted to on those four hours and those dailies um, to be breaking out of that range up to 40,000. So, looks pretty good. I mean, I think the hardest thing to see is just the higher time frame uh, futures when it comes to NQ and ES with their daily price um, being so bearish. But this is really good. We're pushing back above New York Open fairly quickly here. I think if we just, you know, pop the top of the markets here, we go to 20,000 and it's very doable. So what we want to see is the price can close above New York Open now and stay solid. Because if not, it could just fill that five minute area, 19,950 area and just topple. But I really think the price wants to go back up to London Open 19995. So we'll just be patient and wait this out. And I like the double top target on the top of the markets today um, for potential. Okay, so price looks really good. Um, price exploded up there. Uh, so uh, five minute explosion being above New York Open. We just want to see how it's going to play. My goal is to see it. Um, you know, if it's going to really run, it's going to go for here. All right, it's going to wit. It's going to just destroy these people here. So let's see here. So what I could do is I could um exit a contract if I like and to secure. And then I could pull I could pull another one uh, back, but I think that we're gonna get to that target. It looks obvious to me. Doesn't mean we will, so we need to make sure and kind of focus up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sell one of these because it makes some profit back. All right, so now we've sold one of those positions to secure some of the bag. And then now what we'll do is manage this trade. Um around this area here really want to see how this 15 minutes is going to close if it closes above new york uh so we want to do this here really quick and so now we have a target of, um, on that 15 in one hour that looks re understand or reasonable and uh es is making new highs on that 15 almost going to take the high of day so that's pretty cool. I really want to see how that 15 minute closes because that five minute could turn into a mini, that five of one minute. Um, so we just want to keep our eyes kind of like focused in there. But like I said, YM is screaming. I just broke 39,800. So it went a whole 100 points in the last 15 minutes. Um, and then ES was open. New York was 55.31, and it's already at 55.42 in the first uh, like 20 minutes of the open. So one hour price looks really good to me. Um, for ES, looks a little scary here for uh, NQ to me. But looks like a liquidity grab on NQ and a nice mitigate, mitigation bounce play on uh, ES and then YM taking off. So. Really like it if it can work out though, because yes, it's looking really good. I like how the 15 is printing right now, it looks good. So.
those prices look really good. Kind of sad that I even pulled a contract. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. So really good out the gate. I mean, I mean, we're pushing right now. Uh, prices printing above New York were uh, minimum 50 points in profit, right? 19,000 and 1950s. So that's really good. Um, and we reduced our risk down. ES just broke the high of day. And now that one hour looks really amazing when you look at it like this, right? How that looks, ES screaming. Uh, NQ now coming out of that absorption. Uh, so that looks all really good as of right now. Now the full hundred point move would be from nineteen uh eight eight three to nine nine or to nine eight three. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. So taking this London high would be a full hundred plus point move. Um, wouldn't see why they wouldn't go grab this. But when you go from the swing high to swing low, you know anything printing above the fifty is a good chance that we hit that twenty k. So. Uh, we want to see a break 1995. You don't want to see like a mitigation type set, uh, situation here. You want to see them go ahead and push on through and hold bullish above New York open. So 15 minute close, getting ready to close right here and, and the one hour. Really nice close back above New York open. So you just want to see strength here on this five minute to kind of like wipe these people out right here. And uh, really good close, one hour higher high on um, ES showing shines of strength. And then that was also um, our four-hour close, which was a nice bullish close for ES, right? So if we can continue um, here with uh, NQ. Hopefully NQ is our lagger today because if NQ is our lagger today and we are going to come up out of this um, demand zone on the four-hour, the 19900 area, continue higher here on ES, continue higher here up to 20K on NQ. Then um, then we're definitely in the pocket already to start the week, which is really good. So we are we're we're pushing again. So we we are gonna push those double tops. I think personally, um, we get to here and we're up a hundred plus points in the day, which is really nice. So I would like I would like to see that uh, be achieved for Monday, which would be really cool. Damn, it's pushing fast. It just jumped up about. Uh, 20, 30 handles there Um, just when I was sitting or about, yeah, 20 handles there. We're only like a few points away from our take profit now at this point. So we're about 31 minutes in to the session uh, Monday. Not doing bad so far. We've parceled out a little bit of something. So, and we're coming up on our first alert. So welcome, welcome to Monday, guys. <laughs> Come on, push on through the highs. Uh, ES is making new highs. The four hour looks really aggressive. Um, there's our first alert. So I mean, we're up two thousand on the day, guys. Cover your positions. Just uh, you know, be careful if you haven't covered. Um, and then we're gonna go to target here. So I'm looking for target to be about one hundred and fifty points today, potential. But when you think about technicals, right? Um, they have taken that internal liquidity and could start wiping back down to the downside. So now what we want to do is really focus on our number, right? We want to get to this target, which that's what I'm going to wait for today. Um, but I can go ahead and, um, you know, think about trailing this risk here to break even. But right now I'm just watching this trade. I'm watching five minute closures. I'm watching this first 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, like I said, those four hours look more than likely to, you know, continue to stay pretty strong. Okay, so watching this price, like I said, I'm, want, I'm wanting that London uh, LQ, but because of the day that we've had so far, I'm going to continue to kind of watch here. I want to watch this five-minute close for sure um, because once you have that liquidity grab, price has the permission to fail. 
So you want to make sure and kind of watch how this closes um, going into the next 15 minute candle. Now, looking at ES, it is pretty strong uh, coming like on its four hour. It's one hour. It looks really aggressive and looks like it gets to the 5560s. So I wouldn't see why we couldn't, you know, get above 20K here on um, NQ. So we just need to continue to be patient and watch 15 five minute closures. So let's watch this close of this candle here. Really good way to start the week. I mean, our location, our um, point of interest, our demand supply zones, um, our timing, um, management, everything's good so far. You know, so if we can get to the target, that would really wrap this day up as a pretty, really, you know, phenomenal day. ES is making stronger pushes now up on that one hour, guys, 55, 52, YM screaming. Um, and I think we're just basically coming out of a one hour absorption. And that's what you're starting to see. Um, and I can hear guys on top step selling this market right now. Um, to me, you know, if you're not above, you know, at least market open at this point, once we've already, you know, closed way higher than New York, um, it would be a little bit crazy. Um, but they have taken that internal uh, liquidity of the day, so that's not bad either. So <clears throat> that was a good five minute close, no signs of weakness. So we want to see in the next nine minutes how this 15 minutes is going to close. So I would say if this five minute stays strong here, there's a good chance it'll be you know pretty good. Um, but I may be pulling some of this from this uh, account just because it's up pretty good for the day. So we'll close some of that position from here and uh, that'll put us at a profitable day. Now, if you guys are holding the partials, just hold into that 20, uh, 0 30 area where the equal highs are. And um, I think that would be a really good TP area if you're not already up for the day. But, you know, I was floating um, with, with a partial $2,000 of profit. So it's almost like, you know, I look up at my board. If I was just to do that, you know, today and tomorrow, that'd be the end of the week. So, um, with that being said, for the recording side, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I am going to continue to trade here until about 11 and watch this price. But I think since that internal liquidity got grabbed, um, it's a great place to pay yourself. Anytime price is printing above point of interest, it's a great time to protect yourself. So protect yourself or pay yourself, right? So with that being said, like I said, on the video side of this, um, appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we will be back tomorrow, same time, same place. 906. Wow, guys, we took that trade at, I think, 836. So it was only about 30 minutes of trading. So can't beat that. Have a good one.